Hi guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and I'm a diabetes educator. I see a ton of diabetic patients in my office and sometimes they come with diabetic foot ulcers. Sometimes they come to see me first time with the missing limbs and that really, really makes me sad. And I want uh, the awareness to go up and today I'm going to talk to you about why diabetics sometimes lose limbs and how to prevent that. Let's get started. how these uh, limb amputations develop, why it ends up being there. So a couple things. Let's discuss about the vascular system and neurological system. Now, diabetes is a vascular disease. So when your blood sugars go up, uh, when you're insulin resistant, these things will definitely create pressure in your blood vessels and you will start getting a uh, narrowing of your blood vessels especially the arteries now the most affected uh, blood vessels in diabetes are the small arteries which are the ones that goes to your hands your or your feet etc now and the kidneys right uh, those are also very small arteries uh, now what happens is when these blood vessels start getting clogged up uh, the nerve cells that are getting nourished through that um, through those blood, blood vessels or arteries uh, they also start dying so it's a combination of multiple things so what ends up happening is uh, diabetics start losing the sensation under their feet they sometimes walk around barefoot uh, things you know they step on things they don't realize it's the it's your foot i mean it's not the cleanest place and eventually it gets very infected now when a diabetic has an opening in on their skin uh, it's like opening your doors to the enemy so they are the the bacteria will sneak in as even if you're 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 totally clean and uh, you're you're protecting your feet you, the skin bacteria uh, that is living on your skin on a, on a normal basis can sneak into the the system because of the high blood sugars those bacteria will thrive in there and they will create an infection and you may not be even aware of it until it gets really bad because you don't even feel it in most cases now the problem is most diabetics don't even know that they don't feel what they don't feel uh, so as, as a result you know you have to be really careful uh, check the bottom of your feet a couple times a week a lot of people expect doctors to do their uh, foot exams but guess what you can get a foot infection tomorrow right after you see the doctor so it's not necessarily the doctor it has you have to be your own doctor and make sure you check your feet all the time and check the bottom of your feet make sure nothing is there so that's number one rule now what happens with this neuropathy, they get to the infection, the infection gets deeper and deeper, and then sometimes it eventually reaches the bone. Uh, when the infection gets so deep, uh, it becomes hard to heal. Uh, we sometimes give antibiotics, of course, you know, and uh, we wait for it to heal. If it is not healing, uh, there are some other treatments that can be done. When there's a dead tissue where the infection lives, uh, there is no way for that infection to go away. It turns into an abscess. It, it is an area that the blood vessels or body's healing mechanisms cannot reach out. And then that tissue start decomposing and start affecting the tissue that is next to it. And if it reaches bone, that becomes a real problem because then it is almost impossible to get that infection out. Uh, now, the problem with diabetes, again, the high blood sugars feed the infection uh, and the body's immune system is weak. When you have diabetes, just like you're affected more from any other infection like coronavirus, COVID-19, same thing with bacteria, uh, it's going to be more uh, difficult for your body to defeat the bacteria. So that's another reason. And then, of course, all these um, emergency supplies that is trying to come to the wound, the body is trying to heal itself, but your arteries are clo clogged up. So if your main arteries, think about like a city, if your main arteries are clogged up, that ambulance is not going to get there on time. So as a result, diabetics with vascular problems sometimes need to see vascular doctors to open up their arteries. And even then, sometimes it's not helpful because the small vessels 
cannot really, the doctors cannot really go into those small, tiny, tiny arteries that are clogged up. So as a result, sometimes to save the rest of the tissue, doctors will end up amputating, getting rid of the problem totally so that the other tissues are not affected from the spread of that infection. So that's the bottom line. That's why they, they lose limbs. Uh, again, uh, if you are aware of the problems that, that you have neuropathy, you have vascular, vascular problems, that you have an infection, if you act early, you will be able to salvage or save that limb. However, um, if you're not aware of it, if you sleep on it, if you ignore your infection, uh, if you're late, uh, because of all the factors we have discussed, it may be way too late for you to save that limb. So I hope that helps, guys. Again, uh, diabetic wound management is a team management. Make sure that if you have a primary care doctor giving you an antibiotic and your infection is not getting better, make sure you contact your podiatrist. If you don't have one, get one immediately. Uh, go to ER. Sometimes the ERs or hospitals will have wound care centers that, that employs the podiatrist doctors, doctors, foot doctors, um, or orthopedicians, whoever are dealing with those uh, wound infections. Uh, but it's a teamwork. It has to be observed very carefully until it heals up. And sometimes they will consult vascular surgeons to help open up the arteries. So it's, again, so it could be your podiatrist, your endocrinologist, your vascular surgeon, uh, even sometimes infectious disease specialist and wound care nurses will work together to get rid of that infection and to save the limb. So I hope that helps, guys. And I hope you never get that problem, and we will see you in the next video.